Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make a hydraulic or pneumatic lift mechanism in SOLIDWORKS. So let's start. So first of all select the plane as per your requirement. Uh, I am selecting front plane, click on sketch. After that select line command. Draw the line as I am showing. Uh, give it a dimension as per your requirement. I am give it a length of 500 mm 250 and this one is 50 mm Same goes here Now go to features click on extrude ball space uh, Make sure that you select the mid plane and extrude equally 600 mm you can increase or decrease the thickness as per your uh, increase or decrease the length as per your requirement. For example, let's just make it 700 mm, and you can increase or de decrease the thickness from here. Okay, so currently the thickness is 10 mm, but if you want to decrease the thickness, simply enter the value whatever you want. Okay, now it is 6 mm. Click OK. After that, select this face. Click sorry, select this face. Uh, sorry now select this face click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view draw a circle here and click on the straight slot command and also draw a slot now give it a dimension as per requirement I am giving it a dimension of 10 mm ok it means 1 cm and place it 30 mm above and from here to here distance is 30 mm as well now this is a center point so we need to define this distance from the center so give it a value of 150 and this total length is 300 uh, make sure it is also 10 mm Now go to features, click on extrude cut, click on through all, click OK. Now go to fillet, select this face, edge sorry, and give it a fillet as per your requirement. I am giving it a fillet of 10 mm. Click OK. Now press Ctrl plus S. Save this part as per your requirement. OK. So I am making a new folder and save it as part 1 or base 1. Now click on File, New, click OK. Select the front plane, click on Sketch. Again click on Center State Slot, Roy Center State Slot. This time this is 20 mm, not 10 mm, and increase the length up to 500 mm. Draw a circle. This radius is 10 mm, and go to sketch. Click on linear sketch pattern. Select the entities you want to pattern. Increase the distance to 250 and increase the number of distances to 3. Ok. Click OK. Go to features. Click on extrude. Give it a thickness as per your requirement and give it a thickness of 5 mm. Click OK. Now press Ctrl plus S. Enter the name road or bar whatever you can give it as per your requirement click on file click on new click on assembly click ok import these two parts select this and right click on it uh, ok so we can move this part and right click on this part make sure it's float now we can also move this part 
now first select this part and select its front plane and click on mate and select the front plane of the assembly click ok after that select the right plane and right plane of the assembly click ok select the top plane and the top plane click ok uh, the reason i have done this because i am going to use mirror command so i need these so that i can easily use the mirror command in a linear component com uh, component pattern command okay now click on mate select this face and this face click ok select this face and this face click ok now move it upward close it press ctrl right click on mouse and drag this part press escape now click on mates select this and this click ok select this face and this face click ok select this one and go to mechanical mates click on slot and select this one click ok so here you can see so it can move like this now we need to make two more of these so press ctrl and select these two and drag it sorry first select a single part right click on mouse and drag it similarly again press ctrl and right click on mouse and drag it now go to the mates select this one and this one click ok after that select this face and this face click ok select this one and this one click ok select this one and this one click ok we need to do mating select this face and this face click ok after that close it right click uh, press ctrl and right click on this and drag it now click on component and click on rotate components move this uh, rotate this part click ok select this face and click on mate and select this one click ok similarly select this one and go to the mechanical mates click on slot select this slot click ok select this face and select this and you need to go to mates click on consonant ok click ok so here we got this something like this now now we need to make two things uh, one is pneumatic and the pins okay after that i'm going to use mirror command so let's make the pneumatic first so i'm going to make pneumatic here uh, before i start making pneumatic let's make uh, our pins uh, basically tie rods that is going to place here so click on here click on new part select the right plane okay press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view simply draw a circle make it a diameter of 10 mm go to features extrude extrude it up to 600 mm click ok exit the add assembly component mode click on mate select this and this make sure you use concentric mate 
select this face and select this one click ok so as you can see that uh, road is quite big so click on it right click on it click on edit part right click on features features uh, make it 500 mm click ok exit rebuild ok it need to make a little bigger so right click again click on edit sorry select here click on edit part right click on it and now increase so here we got this and exit that is only component mode simply press ctrl and right click on mouse and drag this part here now go to the mates select this one and this one click ok select this face and this face click ok okay i guess we got some error here Let's see, first what kind of error is that? Right click on it, delete this one and click on mates. Select this face and this face. And select this face and this face. Click OK. So we got it. Now let's make the pneumatic. I'm making pneumatic here uh, because it's going to reduce my work. So that is the reason I'm preferring making a pneumatic here. Now to make a pneumatic, click on insert, click on new part, click top one here and select the right plane. Press Ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view. So for let's now create the pneumatic. Make sure that you click on no external preferences. and click here delete this one select uh, select this point and this circle control Z make it coincide and the inner die is 10 mm and this one is 30 mm and this length is 20 mm trim the necessary things go to features click on extrude select the mid plane and make it 10 mm now select this face click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 sorry exit the sketch and i have a better way select the front plane click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 i found a way more better than this so escape select this one make it horizontal and what we can do is simply go to features click on revolve ball space okay this one is quite big now reduce this like height to here click ok click on revolve ball space select this edge click ok so we have made one now we made to another one that basically reciprocate up forward and backward so now let's make that one so 
click on here click on new part select the right plane press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view again draw a circle of 10 mm make sure you click on external preferences as, as shown here because if you don't do that it will create a problem that won't work select this edge and this point make it coincide click on trim entities trim the necessary thing lines and go to extra smart dimensions give it a dimension of 30 mm click ok go to features extrude make sure that you select the mid plane click ok and again select the front plane click on sketch Uh, escape select this line make it horizontal go to features click on revolve boss base select this line click ok exit the address only component mode now what we can do is simply click on mate select this face and this face make it concentric select this one and this one click ok and we need to make sure that this thing is in the center of these, these two so what we can do is simply go to advanced mates uh, width mate select two faces first select this face and this face after that select this face and this face so it will always remain at the center now close it now here i'm going to use what called mirror command so click on mirror components select the right component select this 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 and this one click ok so here we got it here you can see that the animation is not working quite well uh, this thing is not in the center so let's make it correct select this and this and this click ok now let's try again 